As we all know, the Residential Purchase Agreement, or RPA, is the main document used in a purchase. CAR has recently done a complete revamp of the RPA. What was once 10 pages is now 16 pages. One of the major changes that you'll see in the RPA is that there is a quick reference guide or a table at the beginning of the document. In this reference table, you will see dates, amounts, and time frames. You'll also find the legalese behind the table in the back of the document. You can now manually check and uncheck included and excluded items from the transaction. You also have a consolidated RPA, so there's no longer a need for different types of RPAs. You'll just check the appropriate box and provide the appropriate addendum for your transaction. You also have individual statutory document paragraphs, so there's no longer a general document or a general paragraph for statutory documents. It is really important for you to note that when CAR implements the new RPA, that it will only be ensuring that new RPA. So it's very vital to your business that you get some training on the new RPA prior to placing an offer. You can sign up for SDAR's free RPA training at the link below. I'm Jenny Onstead, Vice President of Risk Management for SDAR. Here at SDAR, we always wanna make sure that you are in the know.